This is the Japanese lantern called Toro and I'm going to show you how to make this. These are the materials. These are the things that you need to make a Toro. First, a Japanese rice paper called Hanshi, just one, and a uh, uh, chipboard. Eight by eight inches by eight inches square. That's gonna be the base of the toro. And you need sixteen wooden popsicle sticks, three strings, uh, ten inches each, ten inches long. Uh, two-sided tape, double-sided tapes, and scissors, ruler, a pen, and a hole puncher. Those are the things you need to make a toro. Step one, fold uh, rice paper, hanshi, fold like this, open it up again, and you cut along those four lines, and then you make small four pieces like this one two three four now it's four separate sheets out of that one rice paper and this uh, the next step is for you to draw whatever you want on your lantern mine I chose to uh, draw the designs and the writings of the four seasons uh, here's the spring summer fall and the winter so feel free to Draw pictures of what you what you like design, but this is when you need to um, draw your design. Write pictures, letters, anything you want. Okay, that's after you cut the paper. Next step, after you finish um, drawing your designs or pictures. On those paper you need to cut both sides of the uh, wooden sticks and then you want to make a uh, three and three quarter inches long sticks like this you just cut out both sides the the round edge and make a um, straight edge like this so you do this for all um, 16 sticks so I marked all the sticks with my sharpie these lines and now I need to cut these edges by using um, scissors. You probably don't want to use um, like a kid's scissors, a small one. Uh, you probably need a big one. And then you just take your scissors and then cut those round edges where the 
the lines are. And you'll have this after you cut out those rounded those round edges. Okay? Okay, here you are. You have 16 sticks. All these edges now cut out like this. You don't need these. Right. Three and three quarter inches. All 16 of them. Okay, next step. Okay, here you are. You have 16 sticks. All these edges now cut out like this. You don't need these. Right. Three and three quarter inches. All 16 of them. Okay, next step. Using the double-sided tape, I'm going to um, put these wooden sticks onto this side of the paper, like this top and also bottom. like this right on the edge like this top and the bottom um, these need to be um, in the center I mean on the edge not to the left side or to the right side but in the middle like this and then I'm gonna make uh, four of these by gluing those wooden sticks to the paper in the next step you will make holes on four of the sticks just four. So leave the others there and make a hole uh, with the hole puncher. Um, the, just one edge, on one edge, not both, but just one edge. And it's gonna be like this. So I made holes like this. Just one um, side, not both sides, but one, two, three, four sticks. One hole on each stick like this. Okay, here's the next step. You would put the rest of the sticks onto the paper you made before take two of these and then use the rest of the sticks and then put them on like this on two papers but be careful when you put those sticks the bottom one this one and this one without the holes and notice the holes is up there like this two sets okay at the bottom you have to be careful you need to leave a space like this not all the way down like this see that instead you have to leave a space at the bottom like this so you need to push this like this 
So you have a actually this space, this square space. You don't want um, a stick, wooden stick, cover that part. So all the way to the top, it looks like this. And you need to tape these down just like you did before with the bottom and the top ones. Do the same here and then do the same over here. Make sure you leave this square area at the bottom. Again, those holes are on the top. Okay, and then you leave these two just like this. So you have two like this, two like this. All right, so you have a piece like this and piece like this another piece like this and last piece like this so put the four in this order like this and you're going to put this one onto this one like this again with the double-sided tape So you're going to tape those two pieces together like this and then this one also put this on top of the other one and then tape it like this. So after you tape them together you have two pieces look like this. Make sure you have these corners, no sticks here in the middle, just the paper part right here, here, corner, here, the middle part, and then the last corner. Make sure you have these like that. And on top, you have two holes, two holes like this. Okay, now you have this piece like this, and this piece like this. And now you want to put these two together, like this. See that? Put this one on top of the other one and then tape it. Again using the double sided tape. The reason why you're not using any glue that's because this rice paper Japanese hanshi is very thin and uh, if you use uh, glue, it is very difficult to work um, this with this type of paper. So again, put this piece and tape it on top of the other one, just like this. Align the bottom part like this, all straight. And the top part also align straight like so. Now you have this big piece and now you want to cut this part with the scissors, just the paper part. This part 
this part and this part like this. So this is after you cut all these papers like this, like that, here, here, and here. So at the bottom we have these square papers, square pieces of paper cut out. This is the top part. Okay, that's the whole thing. Now you want to put this end onto this end and then make it a shape like this. All right, I'll show you. Okay, so this is after you put all these uh, parts and now it's almost complete so you can take this and stand up like this and all these four edges now it's taped here 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 and notice the bottom part where you cut those papers we have sticks right here and then here so these sticks become um, the parts that would go um, onto the, the base. The base part is that, like this. So if you compare, like this, and we have the chipboard, eight inch by eight inch, chipboard so you put this on top of it like this and then fix it nicely like this and then you tape these four um, wooden sticks now it's um, beneath the, the rice paper you just make sure the lantern shape the shape of the lantern is nice like this and then the final step would be to tape these parts onto the chipboard okay and then next part is the final step okay strings you put two strings um, like this they cross each other right and then you put the end of the string here through the holes and then you tie them Okay, after you tie them, you can cut the part that is too long sticking out. You can cut these out that you don't need. And after that, take the third string and put it like this so that you can hang it. Like this, like this, 
you can put the third string like this. And it's done. Your drawing, your picture should be like this. The outside, the lantern. It should be showing like this. And then when you uh, turn on, the um, candle well it's not actual fire but it's the it's gonna be the LED candle lights like this and turn off the room light and like this okay so this is how you make the Japanese lantern called Tolo. Alright. Bye.